intros and outros. I feel so awkward. I'm like, what do I do? I sound like a freak. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Sarah Vidal back and I am doing a Patrick Star back review for this video. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It has been a while since I've done one. My last couple of videos I've been doing like more funny ones, challenges with my friends, just low key, non makeup related. Um, but today I'm just like, I wanna get back into it, I miss it. This is the look here. I'm going to be showing you what comes in the box. Um, and it's the spring collection. What comes in the box and how to achieve this look. A lot of the other products that I do use are from MAC as well. I'm just going to be like, I figured let's do just a MAC inspired video. Obviously not every single product is from MAC. If you want to know how I got this look, just keep watching. Let's get started. I am just going to start by priming my face with some little Makeup Forever Step 1 Hydrating Primer. So I'm going to go mix it in with some scrub cream as well for some glow. It's called Peach Light. Oh fuck, I forgot my beauty blender. I'm just gonna do a little concoction on my hand. So, for foundation, I'm not gonna be using a MAC product. I'm gonna try to use as many MAC products in this video as I possibly can. But for today, I'm gonna be doing the Hourglass Veil uh, Foundation. Oh yeah, that's a good angle. <laughs> By the way, it is gorgeous outside right now and I'm like looking out this window being like, why am I inside? <laughs> For concealer, we're gonna be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Just gonna apply it up with a little bit of a brush, like a little baby brush. This is the Morphe E14. I like a really bright under eye, so I'm just going to do a little V under there. all over. I'm going to be using the MAC um, Next to Nothing powder. It's just going to give me like light radiance, a little bit of coverage, fucking blur everything out. And I'm using my Sephora brush. Um, this is their number 95 brush. I like it because it's super dense and I just like pack it on. I basically set my whole face with this. Well, I'm going to be Setting my under eye and my nose area and my creasy forehead with the Patrick Star setting powder from MAC. What better way to support Patrick Star than use all of his fucking shit? Powder my nose, hee hee. And then I get wrinkles up here. Botox will be coming soon, hee <laughs> hee. Also, I know I'm young and I'm probably gonna have people be like, you don't need bottle hunks. Well, I fucking want it. So I'm gonna do a little bit of contouring while this is setting to be using the Anastasia contour kit. So I've been mixing these two shades right here to contour. One is just like a little bit too orangey, one is just a little bit too cool toned and gray. So like when you mix them, I find it's just perfect. Carve those cheekbones. these two and I mix them when I wipe away my um, setting powder underneath my eye and it brightens. For bronzer I am using a MAC bronzing powder because we are going with the MAC theme today. 
Not completely, Matt. The shave is, <laughs> wow, am I even a makeup artist? It's called Matt Bronze. <laughs> I'm just gonna warm up my flies. So now it's time for me to prep my eyes. I'm gonna be using a little MAC paint pot, obviously. Oh my god, I just realized I'm missing three fucking fingernails. And I haven't been like conscious about it for the video, so I haven't been like trying to hide them, so. <laughs> I'm really ratchet and I'm very sorry. I literally just pop this right on with my finger. These guys are awesome. I'm not kidding. I don't I know this is probably gross. I've had this paint pot for like <laughs> so gross to say. Probably two years. Like, yeah, it's expired, obviously. But like, look how much I have left. And I use it all the damn time. All the time. Complexion is done minus the highlight. I'll do the highlight at the end after I do the blush. I'm fucking hyper today. <laughs> so guys, now we get into the fun stuff. The Patrick Collaboration Spring Collection with MAC. And it's super cute. This one is called Miso Chic. <laughs> Miso Chic, can't read. Um, and I forgot what the other one's called, but there's two different ones that you can get. This one is more of like subtle, like bridal, like innocent. So the other one's just like a little bit more of like an edgier kind of, um, it's like an edgier package. I can't speak. So this is what it looks like when you purchase it. When you open it up, it comes with a beautiful face chart. It's so gorgeous. We're gonna do like something along the lines of this today, but with a little bit more color. I just want it to be like, bam, spring. It also comes with a, um, so it's an amplified cream lipstick and it's it, in the shade Sweet Mama Star. And, ooh, should I do swatches? I'll do swatches. This is what this swatch looks like. Very gorgeous pink. Uh, pinky peach, but still neutral. Love it. Then it comes with also the blush duo called I'm Not Blushing. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you open it up. It is gorgeous. There's more of like a peachy tone on top and then just more of like a neutral on the bottom. Super, super pretty. So these are the blushes. This is the more peachy one and that's the more neutral one on the bottom there. Uh, gorgeous, I'm like living for the top one. She also comes with a four pan eyeshadow palette that looks like this. And it's called Stay With Me. These colors are delicious. This, if you follow me on Instagram, you know my color is purple. Oh, my hair is purple right now. It's kind of fading but I love, love purple, love purple. So that's gonna definitely be being used. I'm gonna use all these colors in the eye look that I'm gonna do. Here are the swatches of the eyeshadows in order. Last but not least, it comes with a lip glass in the shade Mama Starts Kiss. And that's what this guy looks like. I'll do a swatch of this guy. It's really weird and like with my blue veins underneath it's kind of weird but it is stunning there's like peachy gold flecks of glitter in it super glossy I'm all about glosses so I'm really excited to put that over top of the lipstick alrighty we're gonna get right into doing the eyes yep this guy right here right here and I'm going to grab him on a fluffy brush and just put it right in the crease Just blend all that out, just make sure there's no harsh line. 
lines. Now I'm gonna keep just like a little bit, same like just a little bit more on the fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna kind of wing it in. Just a little bit. Now the one thing about this palette here, there's nothing that's like super shimmery and lighter that's like for the center of the lid and that's what I usually do with all of my eye looks is I have to have like a sh nice shimmer on the center of the lid. So I'm gonna use a highlighter like that I use, the same highlighter that I use on my cheeks and like the high points in my face. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that just in the center of the lid. Just cause I feel like you need it, you need that. It's one thing about this that I would change. Now we're gonna grab the beautiful purple one. It's kind of frosty actually. This guy here and this one here are a little bit frosty and then the other two are completely matte. So I'm grabbing that one on a flatter brush and I'm just gonna pack it right along the lash line. More so on the outer corner. Oh yeah, I'm liking this a lot. So I'm gonna blend it out with the, the other end of this brush. This is just an Urban Decay brush actually that came with one of the Naked palettes, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I'm going to blend it after I pack it all on once there's all the product I want in there. Oh, Ooh, my lips, <laughs> they got some crusty crust going on right now. Alrighty, and then I'm just gonna kinda blend over top of it. Keep it like blended out to the side a little bit. All right. Now I'm taking this darkest shade here on the Morphe M432 brush. So I'm just going to kind of smoke out, lay bottom heel, and connect it with the other corner. Ooh, yeah, dark, fucking sinister. <laughs> Top two. Tie it all together. Can I pick up a little bit more of this one again? Debating taking a little bit of this one here with the frost. I know it's really hard to see in this lighting. This lighting because I have like natural light in my ring light right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spritz it with some Fix Plus the uh, rose one, I believe. Yes, the Fix Plus rose. And just plop it right under in here. Oh yeah, I like that. Right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, I hope it hits not. My tay is always showing. I'm about to just stop wearing necklaces. So, as you can see, I've got my eyes finished. I threw on some Lily Lashes Myconos. Oh, damn, those things are like, like they are fucking fierce. Fierce. So now we can jump right into the blush. I am going to be using this top shade here. The peachy color just because like I live for it and I'm just using that on a blush brush I always use I use the same brush for my bronzer bronzer and my blush oops don't really care though and it's got like a really gorgeous glow to it I could wear this brush blush I have the worst setter like what is wrong with me it's really pretty so pretty the lipstick doesn't come with a liner so I'm just gonna be using a buxom liner this is their one of their plump line lip liners in the shade hush hush it's kind of cool because it has a little brush on the one end and then it's a thick pencil on the other oh mine's gross obviously oh my god my fucking fingernails I keep forgetting I'm so sorry so yeah I'm just going to line the lippies. Alright, they are 
aligned and ready to go. <laughs> Imagine just going out looking like this. This one, yeah, like I said, it's called Sweet Mama Star. And I'm just gonna look at this all over. Ugh. Whoa. This, oh my fucking god. I am in heaven. Oh my god, this color is so pretty. I don't even want to put a gloss on top of it. But this is what it looks like without the gloss, guys. Do a little zoom in. So gorgeous, and it feels so nice on my lips. Last but not least, I want this to like dry down a little bit. I find if you put a gloss on top of like a lipstick, right away it just kind of meshes together and you don't really see the full gloss like it just looks like you know a blend of two different lipsticks doesn't like sit on top we are going to apply this oh 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 yeah oh yes that is stunning. I'm just still grabbing the Becca poured um, opal shimming skin protector and I use the ass end of <laughs> the beauty blender and I just pounce it right on the high points of the face. I always put a little bit right up here. Give me that good wee look. Right down. I kind of like use more of like the tippy, tippy, <laughs> the tippy side for right down the nose. Right next to. Oh, that on the cube as well. So I'm just gonna set my face using the Fix Plus Rose. Cleef, 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 cleef. <laughs> this is the final look. I'm really happy with how this turned out. All right, guys, so that concludes this video. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, share it. I don't, I hate doing outros. It's so awkward. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I actually had a lot of fun doing this. I miss doing makeup, so I'm going to, uh, you know, stick to the makeup game. I'll still do some funny videos here and there, but I feel like makeup's my calling. So, alrighty, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now.